Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Friends, I hope you are enjoying different videos on my channel. Uh, as part of this video, we are going to learn how to install Kafka. Uh, actually, I, I the laptop that I have is not very powerful. So for a long time, I have been trying to find out uh, a way uh, you know, with, with which I can install Kafka on cloud specifically in Databricks because most of the demos that I am doing are uh, uh, on Databricks. So I was thinking, you know, I should uh, install Kafka on somehow on uh, Databricks and, uh, you know, uh, then create a new series of videos on Kafka streaming and uh, Spark Kafka, uh, you know, um, examples. So uh, I'm going to start that as part of this video. I hope it will be very useful for you. So this video, I'm going to divide it in two parts. Uh, there will be part one video and part two video. Um, uh, in part one video, we'll just learn about how to install Kafka on uh, Databricks. So before that, uh, you know, let me create a cluster. So this will automatically create a Spark cluster. So uh, in uh, in notebook in in databricks if you want to run any command on shell uh, through notebook then you can just mention percent as sh in front of the command and uh, it will run that command on underlying operating system shell so uh, that's why i have mentioned percent as sh and uh, using this command using this percent as sh will install kafka on uh, the machine on which uh, uh, this notebook is running. So our Spark is ready. Let us start. So let us first try this command. So this is the name, host name of the machine on which this note, notebook is running. Uh, we can try some other commands. So Ubuntu is the OS which is install uh, which is installed on this machine, and uh, 16.4 is the version. So Java version 1.8 is installed. Let us check out what are the things present in the current working directory. Okay, so we can also check which directly we are currently in. We are logged into this machine as a root user. Cool. So enough of uh, trying basic stuff using percentage as such command. I hope you understand that you, know, you can do a lot of stuff using this percentage as such in Databricks notebooks. So, uh, you know, now we need to download uh, Kafka. So you can download Kafka from Apache Kafka site. And there is a very good documentation given on Quicksart and all. So I have also followed this, this uh, you know, Quickstart uh, uh, documentation. So it's very useful. Uh, so let us first download. I will post this download link in uh, in the description of this video. So friends, I wanted to highlight one thing that you should not download, if you're using Databricks, you don't download uh, Kafka compiled with 2.11. So since it is uh, Kafka compiled with Scala 2.11, uh, it will not run on, uh, uh, you know, uh, the Databricks, uh, uh, Databricks uh, uh, notebook. It will cause issues to you. So it is bet better to download it from the link which I'm giving. So Kafka 2.10 compiled link. Let us see if it is downloaded. Yes, Kafka 2.10.0.10 is downloaded. Then let us just unzip it. Okay, it is unzipped. Now we need to start the Zookeeper. Zookeeper is started. Awesome. So Zookeeper is started at localhost at port number 2181. So now let us start the Kafka server. Okay, looks like Kafka server is also started. Yes, Kafka server is started. Cool. So this was uh, 
the installation of Kafka. I know it was very simple. So that's the beauty of uh, things which are used on uh, Linux environment. So I hope this video was uh, this part one of this video was useful for you. In the next part, we are going to discuss uh, how to post messages in Kafka and uh, you know a demo of uh, producer Kafka producer and Kafka consumer. Thank you for watching this video. Please uh, subscribe to this channel and uh, share it with your friends.